Hello and welcome to the Circle at Kismet. Today we're going to be doing a winter themed meditation. It will allow you to relax and to meet someone significant to you. This person will be different for everyone. It may be a spirit guide, an ancestor, a relative or friend who has passed over. It could also be someone you need to have a specific conversation with. It could be someone you're yet to meet, a soulmate, a new love interest or even your future self. Whoever it is you meet, it's a positive connection that will teach, heal and nurture your inner spirit. If you wish to use a crystal, a talisman or even a pebble from your garden as a relaxation tool, this can be held during the meditation and will serve as a reminder of the peace and healing essence you may experience during these coming moments, should you wish to come back to this special place. If you have not participated in a meditation of this kind before, you will need a place where you can relax, try to be as far away from distraction and turn off your technology. If you are sitting, make sure your feet are flat on the floor. However you position yourself, try not to cross your legs and ideally lay with your hands by your sides or lightly on your lap. As I guide you through our journey to the winter cottage, allow your mind to picture the view and your other senses to be engulfed by the experience. When you are ready, close your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and release through your mouth. Once again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. With the next breath in, Imagine your body sinking comfortably into the seat or bed and breathe out any essence of negativity you have held. With each breath in, your limbs feel more relaxed and as you exhale, you release all of the tension. As you continue conscious breathing, you feel the tightness in your muscles slowly release, your shoulders lower and you allow your mind to let go. It's a cool winter's evening. Under your feet is a freshly laid blanket of fluffy, crisp snow. You can hear the light breeze in the trees. Snowflakes are still wafting lightly from the sky. The street lights illuminate the snow and it glistens like a magical carpet. Ahead, there's a small brick built cottage. A narrow cobblestone path peeks through the snow-clad bushes and plants in the front garden. You step slowly towards the house. The cold air swirls forcefully around your cheeks and your face tingles with the icy chill. Upon the door hangs a winter wreath made of foliage and seasonal berries. As you step closer to the wooden door, you see it's a jar, a warm orange glow emits from the small gap before you. You sense a familiar feeling about this abode. You are welcome here and you are safe. You push the door lightly and feel a waft of warm air kiss your face. You take a tentative step into the hallway. The cottage is silent. The door to your left is open. You peer into the room. It's a cosy space. The fireplace has a crackling fire. There are two soft chairs draped in throws and faux fur blankets, beckoning you to sit, take the weight off your feet and to enjoy the warmth. You sit, laying a blanket over your knees. The fire morphs through an array of autumnal colours. The odd crackle or spark snatches your attention, but the fire on the whole is hypnotic. After a moment or two, you feel the room fading and your thoughts turn to being snuggled in a wonderful comforting place where you feel safe and loved. Without taking your eyes from the fire, you feel a presence. It's the most supportive, uplifting energy. You know intuitively who has come to see you in this cosy setting. Your eyes wander 
from the fire toward the other chair and as you raise your gaze you see the other person. You watch for a moment how the reflection of the flames dance across their face. Their eyes hold an immense wisdom and for a moment you just stare, pleased to see them. You do not need to speak. You greet each other with a gentle smile. A plethora of feelings come flooding into your mind. You steady your thoughts and prepare to talk to your companion. What would you like to know? Perhaps they have a message for you. While you bask in the warmth of the fire's magical mesmerizing flames, I'll give you a few moments to communicate. It's getting late and you thank your companion for their company, insight, care and conversation. Looking toward the fireplace, the glow of the fire has subsided and in turn the room has darkened. Removing the blanket from your lap, you glance to the chair and your companion is gone. As you stand, your eyes sweep across the mantelpiece. The array of candles that once stood there are now burnt down, slightly flickering, wax dripping, puddling, solidifying. To the centre is a single deep red rose. This is a symbol of gratitude for your visit. Your presence has been warmly received. You pick up the rose and smell it. It has a fragrance that reminds you of springtime, the essence of hope after the long cold nights of winter. Alongside the rose is a crystal. You take it. It was meant for you. You step towards the door. Glancing over your shoulder at the now empty chairs, you know you can return to this safe place whenever you are drawn to do so. 
As you slowly leave the cottage, you see that the snow has stopped falling. The wind still swirls around you and the cold bites your glowing cheeks. Walking slowly down the path, with each step, you begin to return your consciousness to the here and now. As I gradually count back from ten, you will begin to be more aware of your surroundings. Ten. Nine. Bringing your mind back into the room. Eight. Seven. Starting to slowly stretch your arms and legs. Six. Five. Pointing your fingers and your toes. Four. Three. Moving your head and your shoulders. Two. Feeling yourself beginning to come into the present in your seat or bed. One. When you are ready, open your eyes. If you just take a moment to enjoy the ongoing energy as you adjust back to the physical room you are meditating in. You can use your meditation crystal by your bed or carry it with you when you need to feel balanced and calm. If you visited a loved one or ancestor by the fire, you may consider placing your crystal in front of their picture. Remember, you can visit the winter cottage at any time you would like to. It is your sanctuary and is always there for you. I hope you've enjoyed this meditation. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you did and if you'd like to see more of these videos. And I'll see you in the next one.